Welcome to our Microsoft Excel VLOOKUP sample lesson brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this sample lesson, we are going to learn about the VLOOKUP function. The purpose of this sample lesson is to give you a feel for how easy it is to learn without tutorials. After trying this lesson, we hope that you will consider purchasing one of our full-length video courses and or ebooks. VLOOKUP is used to look up a value from a different location in your workbook. For example, if you want to look up a student's grade, or a sales tax rate, or a commission percentage, these are all different values that you can look up in your spreadsheets. We'll show you how a VLOOKUP statement works in just a moment. We cover VLOOKUP in much more depth in our Excel 202 course that you can get from our website at ExcelLearningZone.com. Now here I am in Microsoft Excel. I've set up a real simple student gradebook to track students' grades. I've got a list of students here, their scores, and I want to be able to give them a grade, A, B, C, D, or F. As you can see, the student here already has been given a grade of B. Now down below, I've set up a lookup table, and this is nothing more than just a list of numbers that I've typed in over here and the accompanying letter grades. For example, a 0 will get you an F. A 65 or higher will get you a D. A 70, a C, and so on. 80 is a B and 90s and A. And what the VLOOKUP function will do, it'll say, okay, here's the score, here's the grade I want to look up, there's the lookup table right there, so bring back this value and stick it here. Once you understand how the VLOOKUP function works, it's really quite simple to do. Now I've already typed in one right here. There's the VLOOKUP function for this particular student. Now as you can see the VLOOKUP function takes three bits of information. If you're familiar with other functions like SUM or AVERAGE, you know they usually take one bit of information, a range of cells to form a SUM on, for example. Well VLOOKUP wants three bits of information. It wants to know where is the value you're looking up, the score for example, where is your lookup table, and then what column of that table do you want to bring back and show here? Let's do Mark's letter grade. I'll start off by typing in equals V lookup. Open parentheses. Now the little helper comes up here. It says lookup value. What value do you want to look up? Well, I want to look up the student's grade, which is right here. I'll just click on B3 and it puts B3 in the cell. Comma. The next thing it wants to know is the table array. In other words, where is your lookup table? Well, my lookup table is right here. I'm going to highlight it with the mouse. And notice as I highlight it with the mouse, it sticks the range into the formula. It's got A9 colon B13. I didn't include this little header up top here. That's just for me and you. All right, comma, col index num. What does that mean? Well. VLOOKUP wants to know which column of this little table do you want to bring back and display. We could have more than one column down here. We could have some text over here that describes what a C is or what a B is, but we want to bring back the second column right here. Here's the first column, and here's the second column, the letters. So I want column 2, so I'll type in a 2. I'm going to close my parentheses at this point and press Enter. And there we go. As we can see, Mark got an A. All right, let's do the same thing down here for Sue. Equals V lookup. As you can see, Excel doesn't care whether it's upper or lower case. Look up what value? That value right there. Comma. Where's my lookup table? Drag my little box. Comma. Two. Close parentheses. And one more. We've got Bill to do. Equals V lookup open parentheses, looking up the score there, comma, my lookup table is right there, comma 2. 
and Bill got an F. Now this lookup table doesn't have to be here. You could put it on a different sheet if you want, if you know how to work with multiple sheets. In addition, there are some problems that you run into if you try to autofill this down. For example, if I click here and drag down, if you're familiar with how autofill works, you see that doesn't work. There are some problems, so I'll undo that. And we cover these problems in our full Excel course. But hopefully this has given you enough insight to know what the VLOOKUP is good for and briefly how to use it. Again, we cover all the different semantics of how it works in our course, but I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. So once again, we cover VLOOKUP in more depth in Excel 202, and you can find the full course outline and all the topics that we cover in all of our classes on our website at ExcelLearningZone.com. We hope you've enjoyed this free tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact us via our website at ExcelLearningZone.com slash contact. Also, be sure to get on our mailing list for updates to our website, including new free tutorials. We're always putting new free tutorials like this on our website. Go to ExcelLearningZone.com slash mailing to get on our mailing list. This lesson is copyright 2005 by ExcelLearningZone.com. All rights reserved. No portion of this course may be reproduced, copied, edited, or otherwise distributed without the express written permission of ExcelLearningZone.com.